he is communicating through silence and the power of silence. The silence that obviously he finds within himself. And he is obviously a phenomenon. I think we're at a point in history where people want to believe in the phenomenon in human beings. People have a kind of a hunger for silence, to somehow be in touch with their true self. Amos has a beautiful passage. He says, there's going to be a hunger and a thirst, but not a hunger for bread or a thirst for water, but a hunger for the Word of God. And that Word of God, if you look at 1 Kings 19, is a voice that is silent. Maybe he represents that.